Hello. A new customer called us recently to ask some questions about how to enter his stamps and while we were talking he said he was having trouble tracking his purchases. Being stuck indoors due to COVID-19 he had purchased a lot of stamps from dealers, auctions and eBay and so forth. He said he had entered them all into Easy Stamp, but he was not sure which ones he had received and which ones were still on the way and asked if there was a way for him to track these stamps. I have dealt with this myself many years ago and have a method to track my purchases so I know if I have received them or not. It's easy enough to forget once you purchase and pay for items and wait for them to arrive by mail. If you purchase a lot of stamps like I do, it can become problematic to remember what you have not yet received. Luckily, Easy Stamp provides you with many simple ways to track and stay on top of things. I'll show you how to uh, I'll show you the method that I use and how you can employ it yourself. When I purchase any stamp, I immediately inventory it into Easy Stamp and record it as inventoried so I don't purchase it again. I've repurchased stamps in the past a few times when I failed to inventory them in this way. So in this video, I will uh, we'll be using the Basutaland database using my own items that I have purchased. I recently bought about 20 separate items over a couple of months and have received some, but not all of them. So I will enter the items I purchased using the Rapid Multi Entry or RME in short to accomplish, uh, accomplish this quickly. So we'll go to Edit, Rapid Entry, and the ones that I'm going to enter are number 62 to 71B, and we click Find and Begin. And I'm going to inventory them all as mint never hinged, very fine. And the buy date I'm going to put in as uh, June 1st. And then for location, we're going to put in not received. And then buy from, I'm going to say eBay. and then click begin and the items have now been inventoried now there are a couple of items in there number 63 and 64 B which are um, kind of rare inverts which I I don't have and uh, couldn't afford even if if I uh, if they were available so I'm just going to delete those from the inventory and we're done so now we've inventoried um, those uh, 20 items. So if I pull one of them up, you can see number 62, it's listed as not received, and we have a quantity of one. Now, for, there's a couple of numbers, the stamps that I have received, number 65A, 67, 69, and 71A. So we'll, we'll mark those ones as received and enter buy prices. So what I'm going to do is bring up number 65A. And as you can see, it's been um, uh, inventory. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove the um, uh, not received. What you can do is you can just change this to received. I like to just clear it out completely. And I'm going to enter my buy price here. And I believe that one was $4. And now we'll do the same for number 67A. This one I paid uh, a premium for it because it's a it's the key stamp in the set. It's quite difficult to find. And again, we're going to clear this because I have received it. And then number 69A. And we'll edit that guy. And this one, I also paid a little bit of a premium. And we'll clear the location field so it's been received. And then we'll do the last one, number 71B. So we'll clear that, 
and we'll enter the buy price, which I think was 47.50. Okay, so now we've uh, entered all the information that we need for this particular uh, set of stamps that I, uh, I purchased. Now, as I said, number 67A, which is this guy here, that's the key item in the set. It's the one that most people are missing. And if you do find it uh, and you're actively collecting this, I'd recommend buying it almost at pretty much any price. They rarely come up. Okay, so now let's run a couple of reports to show what we have. I'll run the line item report and the quick stats reports. So we can access them from here or the menu. I'll run them from here. So if we click on Q for quick stats, and we'll just run the basic report. And there's all the items that we have. We can do the same report uh, with images. That's one of the supplied profiles and you can see them all there. There's also a line item report which is one of the ones that I tend to use quite a bit. It shows you exactly what grade you've got um, and the value of the stamp and it totals everything up like all the other reports. Okay so now one of the things that you will um, see when you run any of these reports. I'll run one more uh, the quick stats again and show you one other thing. So when you're in any of the report views in Easy Stamp, for example, if you hover, uh, if you click on uh, any any row and you see this icon, the special information uh, icon light up, if you click on it, it'll show you whatever the variety is for, uh, for this particular stamp. And this one, it's the um, a bolder type font in the uh, overprint and if you don't have something to compare it with it's it's usually hard to tell and that that happens with all of these um, you can see that there's three different types and they're all explained there okay so now um, to see what we have not received we can do one of a few things and one of the ones uh, one of the methods I'm going to show you here is just to run a power search so if we go to the search menu and click on power search and I'm going to basically do a search for in the location field and search for the word not. We can say not received but not is just is just fine and click find and show. So it's only going to show us 16. So these are all the ones that have not been received and if we go over here you'll see that it's telling you it's not received. Now we can also set up some special custom reports to show the location field. Again, I like to use the quick stats uh, and add the location field and image. We can do the same with the line item report and add location and then run these two new reports. So let's first create them. So we're going to go to the reports menu, the report profile editor. We're going to select the Q stats uh, first. And then I'm going to save that as because you cannot modify a supplied profile. And I always precede any report that I'm going to modify with the word my. So I know it's a custom report. And then we'll save it. And now we're going to add some new fields to it. So one of the fields that we want to add is the location field. And or is it there it is so you can put it on that side I like to have it at the very top so I'm going to move it up to the top if we want the image we can also put that in there and then we'll save it and now we'll do the same for the line item report we'll go to the line item report profile editor and choose uh, the default line item report and then we're going to save it and we're going to call it my default and then we're going to add the location field and uh, where are you
Oh, it's already in there. I'm in the wrong report. Let me uh, cancel out of here. Sorry about that. We'll go back into reports, line item profile, and we're going to do the default line item. I had selected the detailed, so we're going to change that to my. And save it. And now we'll go into the fields and we'll add the location. As I said, I like to have them at the top. And save it. So we can now run the line item report. And this time we'll choose the default line item report that I had just modified. And as you can see, Here's all the stamps that we've ordered, and you can see the ones that have been not received. So if you uh, double click on the column, it'll, you, it'll sort it. So the first four we can see have been received. These are all the items that have not been received. And we can do the same thing for the uh, quick stats. We're gonna do the one, my default, click find and show. And that's the one with images and there they are, and if we go back to the front here, these are all the ones that have not been received. If you left click on the header, it'll sort them. So if you want to know what you have purchased and if you've received the stamps, this method works great. Another easy method is to create a custom field, but I personally preferred the method I've just shown you. I'll show you how to create a custom field for this and then uh, show the custom field so they can be used. So you go to Utility, Custom Fields Editor, click on the plus icon to create a new one and we're going to call that Received. And we're going to transfer that everywhere else. The data type will be a yes, no field and then click OK. So we've now created a custom field. To show it, you go to the View menu and click the Custom Fields window. So now anytime you're entering a stamp as you're uh, inventorying, you can you know, uh, let the system know whether you've received it or not. As I said though, I prefer to enter my uh, uh, received notification in the location field, but you can use this as well. I hope this was helpful to you. Now I'm going to go back and buy some more stamps. Bye for now.